Right after I got back from Raleigh, I came back to Charleston and then me and Toon had to go to Charlotte for my friend's wedding. Um, I did some of the makeup for the bridesmaids in the wedding, so we were driving up there. I don't think, I don't think the weather was too bad. Like, it rained a little bit like on our way up there. Like, I was mad nervous like driving up there. I was like, oh my gosh, like, I hope the weather's not too bad and I hope it's not too bad for my friend's wedding. Like, I just hope like everything is perfect. Um, but when we got up there, it was only like raining, but it was not bad at all. Like it wasn't like a major hurricane or anything. Um, her wedding was absolutely beautiful. Like I was so excited, like so excited for her wedding. Um, but it was absolutely beautiful. She looked beautiful. I love going to weddings now just so that I can like get ideas and like see how everything is. But her wedding was like absolutely perfect. Like no, like that storm, like. I ain't had nothing on them like my sis was getting married regardless so I was like okay we gonna do this um but it was it was amazing like I had a really really good time um we came back that next day um back to Charleston um it was sunny in Charleston I was so happy that you know it was not raining or anything like that but my week last week was like crazy like I was so so tired like I could not wait to get back home so that I can just like rest and then I had a couple days off from work anyway so I was like oh my gosh I just need to like chill and just like regroup because I had a lot going on last week so there's that let me put these lashes on really quick I'm taking forever on my face I need to hurry up these lashes are so ugly oh my god you really oh i hate these you cannot even see them so anyway my birthday is coming up next month my birthday is october 25th i'm gonna be old as hell i am gonna be 29 years old <laughs> yeah um but i don't know what i want to do for my birthday like my 30th birthday is next year so i'm like i don't know if i want to do something like big this year just because i know for my 30th like i'm gonna be out the country for my birthday so my boyfriend was my boyfriend. I'm I'm having a hard time like with that. Like I've been calling him my boyfriend for so long and now I have to like remember to say my fiance. But my fiance has been wanting me to go to Barbados for my birthday, which I'm not which I'm down with going to Barbados. Like I've never been there before and it seems like it would be a good time. So I'm like, you know what, if the price is right because we are like saving for our wedding now, I'm like if it's right then i'm down to do it he said the tickets are like pretty cheap oh my god these freaking lashes you cannot even see these like what did i what am i doing right now maybe i should have doubled them up but whatever i ain't like i got anywhere to go anyway so so yeah my birthday's coming up and barbados may be the move like i really don't want to stay in charleston like even if i just go to like charlotte or miami or something like that like i will be down with that like i would rather go to miami but i just want to do something small like i'm only turning 29 so it's not like it's a milestone or anything like that so i'm just gonna do something simple but i am excited for my birthday i don't really know why but I just want to go out and have a good time that's all and all of these like different holiday makeups like, I'm so I get so excited around like holiday time like I love seeing all the holiday makeup that's coming out um I'm so excited about the Anastasia like glitters oh my gosh so my wedding day look has glitter in it and not like crazy glitter or anything like that but on the lid it has like this like gold kind of not okay so my camera battery died i really need to hurry up um but like i was saying um what was i talking about oh the glitter is from anastasia so my wedding day makeup look kind of has um like a little bit of like shimmer like glitter on it and one of the colors is perfect for what i'm going for so i think i'm definitely gonna have to cop one of those like i'm so excited like the Too Faced liquid lipstick launches um they are so so cute the eyeshadow palette is so cute like i definitely want to know like what some of you guys is like favorite holiday makeup that are coming out right now because i'm excited like especially like working at sephora during holiday time like I, it's so fun like last year i worked 
like yes yesterday last year i worked on during holiday time and it was so fun like it was so crazy busy but i like that like everybody's working like stores i've had and we making money so i'm really excited for that um but yeah i definitely want to know what some of you guys is like what what are you guys looking forward to buying for holiday as far as like makeup stuff because I know I really want that Too Faced. I think I want the eyeshadow palette um, from Too Faced but I definitely want like those liquid, the new liquid lipsticks and I want those ABH glitters so I'm definitely gonna get one of those. I feel like this foundation is too dark. Um, I'm using the Clinique, what is this, Clinique Even Better foundation. Um, we got like a lot of foundation and our gratis to try out and some of them well most of them are like my bright shade but this one does look a little bit dark but I can work with it so for makeup for my wedding I have two makeup artists now I only have one but now I have two that you know that I'm possibly looking at both of them will have to travel to Charleston because they don't live here um, but they are really really bomb one of them is closer than the other one like the other one she would have to fly in and the other one she can just drive but i want to go the girl who has to fly in um her name is rock castillo and i have not hit her up yet but i'm going to soon because i ever since like i've seen her work like i started following her i was like oh my gosh i really want this girl to do my makeup for my wedding day <laughs> like even before i got married like not married before i got engaged i was like girl I want you to do my makeup and she was like okay girl just let me know so I'm like yes girl the time is now and I need you <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna hit her up and see like what's going on but I would love 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 to have her do my makeup I'm trying to think of what else I had to talk about I have like a list of stuff um but I think I talked about everything <laughs> I mean I feel like I can talk about wedding stuff like forever I mean that's all I really want to talk about anyway because I'm so excited that I'm getting married. So, yeah. Um, where's my concealer? For concealer, I'm going to use. I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution concealer. This is in color C8. So I should have wet wet my beauty blender, but I didn't. So I'm gonna hold that this. Turns out okay. So I've been getting a lot of people that have been having, like when I tell them like when my wedding date is going to be, um, I've been getting like a lot of people that have been saying like, why are you having your wedding in the summertime? It's going to be too hot, blah, blah, blah. Like I've been getting that already. And first of all, I'm like, you know what? Like I knew it would come, but I didn't know that it would come this soon. And I'm just like... I really don't care what you guys, what anybody has to say about like when I'm having my wedding, like you really don't have to come. Like this is my wedding day, like I would never try to talk somebody out of like doing something that they want to do for their special day, like I would never do that. And I don't understand why people feel like that's okay to do that, like I'm not changing my wedding day, if I want my, my, if I want my wedding in the summertime. Then I'm going to have my wedding in the summertime. If I want it outside, I'm going to have it outside. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to come. Like, I don't want anybody to feel obligated to show up to my wedding if you don't want to sit out in the heat for like an hour or so. I'm like, I know more of that is going to come, but I really just, I don't want to have like anybody just trying to talk me out of doing certain stuff. Like, I hope that does not happen a lot. Because it already started happening. But, I mean, as far as, like, me having my wedding outside, like, that's already set. Like, I'm already set on doing that. So, nobody can come, nobody can talk me out of doing that. But, I mean, suggestions are, like, cool. But, when I mean, you're trying to, like, talk somebody out of it and you, like, why are you having your wedding during the summertime? Why are you having it outside? What's going to be hot? Like, don't come that's all i'm saying like i don't want anybody to be trying to stress me out over no dumb shit like that like this is my day okay it's not your day so yeah i just have to bring that up because i'm like dang i didn't think i knew it would happen but i'm like i didn't know that it would happen that early on 
you know like i ain't even started planning really planning my wedding yet like i don't even have a venue book yet and y'all already telling me like people are already telling me like oh it's gonna be too hot blah 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 like it doesn't matter okay i like summertime my man likes summertime we're gonna have a summertime wedding okay and that's just that but i'm excited about it like nobody can make me feel any kind of way about when i'm at my wedding because like we wanted to have it so if he had proposed earlier um we initially like we wanted to have our wedding on february the 22nd but it was too soon like six months away and i was like i don't want to like rush and plan a wedding in six months so that was kind of like a special number for us well especially for him but i was like dang that's not going to be enough time to like plan a wedding so we went with june 8th <laughs> But it's not for sure yet. We just have to make sure, like, but in June, I think that's that's what we're, like, shooting for, so. Like, I really feel like with wedding planning and everything, like, I feel like I'm really going to be stress-free because, like, my sister and my friend, they have been, like, on it, like, helping me, like, sending me pictures, giving me ideas. Like, my sister was on it with the venue, so one of the venues she sent to me is, like, one of the venues I think I really want to go with because it's absolutely beautiful um but like i'm so grateful like i don't have to really do a lot of stuff by myself because i have people that actually want to like help me like i feel like they're really just gonna make this whole process like really stress-free for me like my boy my boyfriend my fiance is there like my mom she's like all excited my dad is ready to pay and put the deposits down for everything <laughs> so i'm like really like just set like everything is going like so good right now like i'm super happy about that like nobody stressing me out nobody asking me too many questions that i don't know yet like so i just i'm really excited I, I know we got like a couple months but i'm just really excited about this whole wedding planning thing like i'm excited to plan like my bachelorette well i don't have to plan it because i know my girls are going to plan it for me but I'm just really like excited about doing all of those things. My skin looks amazing. Okay. I'm not going to do too much though, because like I said, I was not going to do no crazy. Beauty. I'm going to add a little bit of blush on. But if you guys have like any wedding ideas or like places to go for like your bachelorette, things to do, like I'm taking all ideas, like I'm taking all suggestions. So drop them down below if you already got married um like any tips or anything that i need to like be on be on top of like y'all let me know okay because i'm telling y'all like how when i got engaged i'm like so what am i supposed to be doing right now because i had no idea like where to start i was like i gotta get a wedding planner book like i need somebody i need something or somebody to tell me step by step what i need to be doing so my wedding planner book definitely does that um, and then I signed up for that app, The Knot, which everybody's been, like, recommending to me, which has been pretty good right now. But, yes, if you guys have any other suggestions, please drop them down below. Help your girl out, okay? So, I want to know, like, some of you guys' like, favorite songs, like, albums, songs, or anything that's out right now. So, I plan on, I, like putting putting music together for my wedding like my reception and everything like i cannot wait to do that like everybody i know i said like i dj on on here before like i told you guys like about my mix and everything that i did so i want to put together like a mix as i could give to like my bridal party i think um but i definitely want to put <laughs> i cannot wait to put the list together for like music for my reception honey it's gonna be everything because everybody already knows that I have amazing taste in music so every song is gonna be a bop and I just cannot wait but I want to know what some of you guys like favorite albums like favorite artists are right now so I'm thinking about vlogging like my wedding planning process um I have like a camera I just need to get it fixed so I have like the Sony a500 I think that's what it's called i might be saying it wrong but i have one of those cameras that i think i want to use to like start vlogging like when we go do like wedding planning stuff so let me let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that um i want to do like a bridal subscription box as well but i don't know 
like they're not expensive like i found i found some pretty good ones but i don't really know if it's worth it like I, my friend brie who just got married she did one um and she did the miss to miss the miss to mrs box and i already know what she had in it so she told me to try out um oh my goodness what is it called it's another bridal subscription but i don't know what they have in there so she was like try it out that way you'll be surprised and you know what's in it i really want to do one of those so i'm still thinking about doing that but I definitely do want to like vlog more of like my wedding planning stuff so let me know if you guys want to see that if you're interested because I'll definitely do that you know anything that has to do with like planning my wedding like I'm all for it so let me know if you guys want to see that I need to put something on my lips I'm gonna be right back okay so for my lips I'm gonna use like my favorite lip combo ever in life um, I'm gonna be using my NYX lip liner. Usually I would use Espresso or I would use Nutmeg, but today I'm gonna use Espresso in the lip liner. And then for the lips, I'm gonna use the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi, which is my favorite color ever. So I'm just gonna put this on my lips. Okay, so again, that's the, this is like, this ain't my real, not really my go-to look. Like, I wouldn't put this eyeshadow on, but, like, as far as, like, my face and my lips and everything like that, like, this is what I would do if I'm just, like, running out the house to, like, run some errands or something. Like, this is, like, my go-to makeup look. So, yeah. I know I really didn't tell you guys what I use, but I'll make sure that I have it down in the description box for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. If you're interested in seeing like more vlogs for me, one well, more vlogs. I ain't never did a vlog before, so I'm kind of, I really do want to try it out um, just to see how it goes. So if you guys are interested, please let me know. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.